to our mountain cabin. Guess what? It's 2024. Yeah. I'm Todd. Hey, and I'm Rob, and we are husbands renovating our mountain cabin in the North Georgia mountains. And this video, we're going to take you on the year long journey it's been since we <laughs> moved in here. <laughs> Come on in. But it's not what you made for, and there's nothing that is too late for. Ready? So our first couple videos, we took a took a big turn of transforming all the white walls that are in the space that you see behind us and in the living room. And we went with a monochromatic paint scheme. Yeah, okay. meaning we put the trim, the walls, everything was the same color just to make the space feel a little bit bigger, but also more cozy than the white walls that were in here. It was a little stark. Yeah. I think a lot of people were probably like, oh, that's a cool color. It's going to be too dark. We had a lot of comments from people saying it was too dark, too dark. But as you can see, we have so many big windows in this living room. So the natural light comes in and it's just, it changes the color near as the day progresses, I would say. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, it feels cozy as opposed to just, you know, dark and cold. I mean, and cozy is the word we were going for last year. Yep. Cozy cabin. I think we used it probably too many times in the first. <laughs> three months we lived here and we were like, don't say cozy anymore. But now it actually does feel really cozy in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so in addition to the paint, what you see behind us is a hundred year old antique cabinet that we installed. So that came from Todd's sister's house that she's also renovating in South Carolina. It came in two different pieces. So the hutch here pops off and it's got the bottom piece as well. Yeah, it was a it was it was kind of a trick because it was a partial cabinet. The side of it was missing from the way it was built in the original house, and so uh, using some magic woodworking skills, uh, you know, we tried to recreate one side to make it look like the other, and I think it turned out pretty good. It looks like it's been here forever. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna give Todd a lot more credit than he's giving himself. He is a whiz at the woodworking skills that he has, so. He went to work on that and it looks very identical to the other side that actually did exist. So, way to yeah. go, babe. <laughs> yeah, and then we added it in some lights and some backsplash and um, so far so good. So that was the first couple of months. It was really cold outside, so we had to do a lot of stuff indoors, but that was fine because like I said, we wanted to get these walls painted something beyond white. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then we moved into the primary bedroom. We got that started. So we spent a, a good weekend there painting the walls in there as well and came up with a cool idea to put on the wall, a mountain scene. Mm -hmm. That we made ourselves from different pieces of wood trim that matched my uh, yeah, we, tattoo. We built it to, mm -hmm. to mimic Rob's Grand Teton's tattoo and, yeah. and we started out with a blow up mattress in there and it was <laughs> a little frigid and oh my gosh squeaky totally <laughs> and not the greatest for a 40 year old man's back <laughs> but we yeah. um we ended up getting you know the mattresses the furniture and all that stuff and um once we got the walls painted and the ceiling and the um ceiling fan and you know, the accent wall lighting it definitely feels more like a bedroom now yeah not to mention we, okay, so also we're doing all this on the weekends. We have careers. This is a part-time <laughs> job for us, basically, a little side hustle. So so everything we've been doing is just kind of, you know, as we go along on the weekend by weekend. But yeah, I completely forgot that we slept on an air mattress for several weeks. How could you forget month. that? I think it was a full month. We didn't have tables in there. We didn't have dresser at all. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the challenges of not moving from your house original house or your your main house to the the new house 
is that you really need to start from scratch um, for a lot of stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. So I had a bunch of old picture frames that we decided to paint the same color as the wall, and we made a gallery wall and we added a lot of different little animals and creatures in there um, to make it, um, you know, a focal point over the, the couch that we can add in pieces here and there to make it a little bit more interesting throughout the year. and. It's not your typical um, kind of wall, <laughs> a oh, bunch yeah. of frameless um, art. Uh, or... Do you remember a couple of comments? People like I'd say ninety-five percent of the people were positive, and there was like a couple that were here and there were like, "That's not a gallery wall. There's no art on the wall." Oh my gosh, that one person was like, "This is like what you would get to a kindergartner to decorate a wall," and I'm like, "Okay." Okay. I mean, I loved kindergarten um. for the project, so <laughs> I'm fine with it actually. <laughs> Uh, but then um, the other thing, um, what was it? What else was after that? Oh, the laundry room. Oh yeah, yeah. The laundry room was like a three-month <laughs> ordeal because, on, honestly, like it's it's a laundry room. It's not the most exciting thing to work on, but it is what we saw first thing in the morning when we get out of bed because it's attached to our primary bedroom. Yeah. Not to mention also we didn't have enough office space, so we ended up making kind of a hybrid area. We got new washer and dryers, obviously. And then we put in a desk, like a drop leaf desk, put in a nice office chair. We already have two windows facing the woods right there. I mean, it's a pretty cool space to work. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Although, do you remember all the gaps and the cracks that were in gosh. the beadboard, the ceilings, yeah. the floor? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we spent probably a day just <laughs> sealing up the room just so yeah. that it was less drafty, less bugs or anything from getting in. Ugh. Caulk, caulk, caulk. We like our caulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh mercy as i'm just staring out the window right now <laughs> waiting for it to be spring so we can go sit mm -hmm. on the porch it's so beautiful right now yeah. but anyway so we finished that and then we moved on to i think it was springtime around the time we started like that's, in march yeah that's when we wanted to start getting into gardening and planting and yeah. we built our raised garden bed the first rendition of it anyway and had some <laughs> What is it? Tomatoes and basil and mm -hmm. lettuce and cucumbers peppers. and peppers and blueberries. It was, a, it was a decent little first harvest. We're going to improve it for next year, oh, but 100%. it was a good start for that spring. Yeah. But the first warm weekend we had here in March of last year, we were in shorts and a t shirt, going to the hardware store, picking out annuals, bringing <laughs> them and like bringing all these pots to put on the porch, and we just made the space look even more homey out there. So, really, really like being outside as much as we can. Mm hmm. And then Todd used his skills again, and we decided instead of buying planners to put on the, the rails, let's just build our own. This guy did it, of course. <laughs> yeah, we were lucky that we had a lot of extra wood and materials that were in our storage buildings here when we bought the place. So we just used what we had and made our own. Yeah. It, was, it turned out better than stuff that we would have bought probably and saved some money in, in the meantime. Yeah, and the cool thing is about those is that you keep putting plants in all season long. So mm -hmm. right now we have kale out there, we have shard, we have lamb's ear, what else do we have in there? Pansies. Pansies, violas. Yeah, we're always at the hardware store buying flowers. <laughs> yeah. So fast forward to six months into the year, by the time summer came around, hot and humid, we chose the hottest day of the year, of course, to be outside to start painting the deck. However, we painted the wrong color. Yeah, we thought we were gonna like it, but it ended up being too orange and too <laughs> Halloween-y and the coat that we used, the orange one, um, it was a special type of paint that was made to fill in cracks and crevices. We already had a lot of it, so we just used that as the first coat and then we used the, the um, I think it was a barn red or mm -hmm. something like that for the, the top coat to, to bring it a little bit more of a warmer color, but it turned out. Do you remember when it started raining halfway through the... <sighs> We had like half the first coat on there and then it's like absolute thunderstorm came through and just like typical summer. It's yeah. like every afternoon thunderstorms so you like you every day it's unpredictable, predictably unpredictable. So yeah. we did the best that we could and it it's held up pretty well. I mean I've been pretty impressed and so I mean yeah. I think it definitely saved us for um, having to replace the deck for a couple years. Yeah. One of the cool things we did outside was install a bunch of landscape lighting. Yeah, it was pitch dark up here, and I'm not big into light pollution and wanting to contribute to that, but um, going out at nighttime to walk Wally and to <laughs> just to move around, it was just, it was dangerous. 
Um, you know, we didn't want people falling down the mountain because it's very steep. We live on the side of the mountain now. And um, so we put in a lot of different lighting. Some of it's solar, some of it's wired, um, some of it's up lighting, down lighting, accent lighting. You name it. Yeah, you name it, literally. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even know how some of it even turns on. He just went out there one day and just, like, had wires going everywhere, and now they're buried, and things are turning on at different times. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It is even neat to see it from the drone as well, because you can, like, pop up and look down and see, like, this really cool landscape that we mm -hmm. just kind of built here. So, it's neat. Oh, let's talk about wildlife. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun year. We actually, the coolest thing that I think we saw was a bear. Yeah. It literally walked up to our deck while we were not here. And yeah. we caught it on the, the wildlife camera. And that's the only time we've actually caught it on camera or seen it in person. But um, we do hear that they they live around. So, yeah. Um, but we've seen... Oh, the raccoons. The raccoons. Oh my gosh, we have a little family of them yeah. that are just little pests but uh you know we're cohabitating as best as possible <laughs> staying safe <laughs> yeah we have lots of deer oh my gosh they deer, eat our hostas yeah. they eat everything and they're beautiful though i do love them and in the mm -hmm. spring it's so sweet when you see like the mamas and her little baby deers walking around and they have the spots it looks like bambi running around the forest <laughs> and um we see those almost daily oh yeah 100 um, percent. there's day. just deer everywhere Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> but um, then we have lots of little critters like squirrels and chipmunks and scorpions. Scorpions. <laughs> oh, that's not a critter. Oh, my. We've learned about sure. black lights, to be able to see them that glow neon at nighttime. If you've never seen these, like if you've gone out to a desert or somewhere where you can see these more naturally than North Georgia, um, you can use the black light and they glow. It is the craziest thing. Like, it's kind of fun going scorpion hunting. Because at least you can see them. <laughs> it's but, fun for this guy, not for me. Trust me. <laughs> but uh, but it's been a it's been a year for the critters. I mean, I actually got bit by one of the or stung by one of the scorpions while I was working in the garden down there. And you know. We've been adding furniture left and right as well. And we've been putting a lot of it together ourselves. <laughs> oh gosh, which has been an ordeal too. But it's been some heartache on those <laughs> on those fronts. <laughs> oh my gosh, IKEA, the Lord help us. Ikea and Wayfair. Wayfair is oh my right gosh. up there as well with like, here's five so steps. Much. Put this dresser together. Bye. <laughs> if they tell you the five steps. Yeah. <laughs> I think you put that one together on the porch and then you immediately realized it was backwards. Something was wrong with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leave it to me one? like to skip a step in the directions and then it's all backwards. <laughs> and then it started raining that day too. I remember that. Because that's I'm when I was putting you. the Adirondacks together. But... I will say the porch has become one of our favorite spots to sit on. Mm -hmm. Our favorite spots to be at, actually, at this cabin. Because about three seasons worth of time we can spend out there because the temperatures are pretty pretty comfortable. Uh, we recently got a fire pit that go on the porch, so we've been enjoying that. Even though it's been chilly outside, we can still sit outside and have our cocktails and just enjoy the views because we have some really good views. Oh, then we also moved into working a little bit upstairs. There's a bathroom and a bedroom in the back corner, but there's also a loft area that overlooks the living room, which had some really outdated rails probably 21 years ago. <laughs> so we took out the spindles on the upstairs railing and we put in this black galvanized steel wire. And so it's created like seven different... Um, <laughs> right? Levels? I don't know what the heck you call it. We <laughs> used wire for the rails. <laughs> We left in the wood the main rail, but then we, instead of putting having the spindles, we used the metal galvanized wire for, for I don't know what you call it. I don't know. Horizontal. You know what we mean. You're gonna <laughs> there's say There's seven anyway. levels of horizontal wire, let's just say that. And then there's <sighs> a piece of wood at the top, so that's still there. And also that day we ended up painting the beam that goes across the entire length of the entryway to the other side of the loft. Todd mm. had to climb our giant ladder in a thunderstorm, not to mention. <laughs> and then you drop down into the monochromatic black evergreen everywhere, so it's a pretty neat space. It's mm -hmm. getting cozier, right? Yep. <laughs> but with that, it finally, we could see fall coming on the horizon. And if you know anything, our favorite season is fall, fall, fall. 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 Well, in preparation for for Halloween, which is our wedding anniversary, we went crazy. We bought probably 20, 30 pumpkins, gourds, two months into corn stalks, hay bales, 
We had all that stuff probably. Pansies, moms. Beginning of September, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It was full blown, decked out yeah. for, for Halloween. And then we rolled that on into Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. But we had a Halloween party as well. Yeah, we had some friends up and had a little bit of a, what was it, a masquerade kind of yeah. deal. We put masks on and danced around and yeah. made got, some good got silly. Yeah, made a good charcuterie for Halloween, made a good cocktail. Mm -hmm. If you know us, cocktails are one of our favorite things to do. So, <laughs> but then yeah, we rolled right into Thanksgiving is what you were going to say, right? That's right. Thanksgiving and birthday. Yeah, this, this guy's birthday was double on whammy. Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> yeah, big 4-1. Four 4-1. One. Four one. Then we hit our stride with Christmas. Oh yeah. Although we probably should have decorated a month before we did. <laughs> we should have started decorating for Christmas in September probably. <laughs> Next year is going to be Halloween Christmas decor <laughs> extravaganza. Well, I think it's going to be easier next year because- I hope so. <laughs> this year was just the first go. I think anytime you're doing something for the very first time, you're learning and you're figuring things out. And now we have a lot of it here. Oh and just gosh. getting it here, geez, like it was an act of Congress getting all of our products up here. Yeah, do you know how many Christmas trees we put up? <gasps> I'd say seven or eight. We had yeah. large ones, small ones, medium ones. We'd spend a whole day just taking them down. <laughs> yeah, but it's a work of it's a work of love though, because I absolutely love Christmas time. I love the vibe of you know Christmas cabin, and yeah. um, and and the sooner we can get that up and just enjoy it, the better. Um, Cozy Christmas cabin. Yeah. Yeah, and then we took a week off, went to the beach, which you probably saw in the last video, and now here we are back yeah. in 2024. We're gonna give you some updates and hopefully figure out what we're gonna be doing next. Yeah, what are we <laughs> doing next? <laughs> I don't know. Um, the main thing we're going to be focusing on is that upstairs floor. Right now it's a green, outdated carpet, which is... It's got to go. I don't know it is. It's got to go. Yeah. I think we're going to end up doing wide wood planks. Yeah, like maybe like a white oak, wide plank, um, maybe with a little bit of a distressed look to it, but um, still natural. Yeah. So that's probably going to come up sooner than later. So if you got any tips or tricks up your sleeves that you want to share, drop them in the comment below. Because we could use some. <laughs> so we're going to be doing it all on our own. <laughs> I put down hardwood floors plenty a day. All right. I haven't seen you do that in 10 years. So. <laughs> I know how to nail them and staple them and glue them and float them. Girl, we got it. All right. Never mind. Don't don't give us any tips or trades. It's nope. Just... We don't want your help. <laughs> just watch us, like us, and subscribe. And then comment on how bad we did it after we finished it. <laughs> Uh, and then we'll probably tackle that bedroom or that bathroom back there, which the still mermaid bathroom has mermaids on it a year later. Which mermaids live here. I think our guests kind of enjoyed that experience of walking into a mermaid bathroom. <laughs> and I think we're also going to be working a little bit more outside on some of the other buildings on the property. We haven't really shown several of the other buildings that we have here. Yeah, we essentially have three workshops. Yeah. One is a garage that is... Um, Could probably hold a tiny car. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be like a sports car or something really small. Like, I don't think our car would even fit in it, so we've never used it. Um, and then in the back, we have two workshops that are they're connected, but they're separate spaces. And one is more of like our greenhouse potting shed kind of area that we're making it into, sort of. With spiders. Yeah. A lot of them. And then on the other side is a big workshop space. It's... Um, our dream was to, or is to uh, make that into like a pottery studio, put in some more glass windows and put in, you know, more flooring and, you know, close it in a little bit more and make that into a pottery studio, ceramic studio for Rob and... Slash workspace for yeah. all the tools that we have in there at the moment. Yeah, that's our dream. Like, I don't yeah. know when that's going to come to fruition, but um, that's our idea. And so we've got three spots to, to potentially do something with outside in terms of the workspaces, but... And eventually we're going to be painting the house, but we'll get to that at some point soon. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we've been talking about that for probably a year. <laughs> and every time that we get into it, we realize, okay, well, there's boards on the side of the house that need to be replaced. There's gutters that need to be installed. There's, oh, are we going to do a new roof? What are we going to do with that? Like, Lord help us. <laughs> It's not just picking a color. Yeah, <laughs> I wish it were. Uh, the same is true. I guess what we could address with other projects that we've kind of um, teased about, like the kitchen, it's like another one of those projects that there's so many moving parts, potentially taking out a wall, putting in, you know, all new appliances, hey. counters, you know, replacing cabinets. I mean, just 
it's a big project and I don't want to just do it really fast and not enjoy it or not like it. Right. And you know, I also want to be frugal with it. And if you rush through projects, if you've done enough, uh, it costs <laughs> and you make mistakes when you go too fast. At least that's my story. We're managing. No. I think we're doing a good okay job. We've got our buddy here. Yeah, while he is sitting beside us right now. He's adorable. Hey guys. <laughs> I'm here too. Hey puppy. Well anyway, we, we hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably a little bit different from what you were expecting, but we're excited for 2024. We've got a lot of projects coming up and we hope you kind of follow along with us a lot as we go along, right? Yeah, we're excited and Stay tuned to see what happens next. Yeah. Don't forget to follow along on Instagram, Facebook, Threads, at Todd and Rob. And you can check us out online. We have a website, toddandrob.com. Yeah. So thanks to all of our 8,000 subscribers. It's kind of blown us away this year. Yeah. We, we did not expect to have that many by uh, our 12-year mark. Our 12-year. Oh. <laughs> our one-year mark. Are we going to be doing this in 12 years? We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be close to 80 by then. No, you will not be close to 80 in 12 years. <laughs> I do have a math learning problem, so. Maths. <laughs> math is just hard. I don't know numbers. They're hard. Oh, Lordy. Right. Well, cheers, everyone. Hope you guys had a great 2023. Can't wait to see you in 2024. Yeah. Stay tuned. Bye. Filthy. Get off that clean. <laughs> you dirty thing. Ooh, you getting in trouble. The extender rod can hold down the at an angle. <laughs> Try her. Go. <laughs> Wally's like, okay guys, let's do this. Come on. Spin the track. Chicken old day. Sun's gonna be cool Oh my now. god, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> what are you talking about? I am hot naked. Ah! Ah! All right, what are we doing now? <laughs> ah! Question? Question. What's one of the... No, you already asked me. What am I asking you? Question? Closer to the camera. Be closer to the camera. Hey, camera. Mmm, Larry's getting thirsty. <laughs> Lord help us. Hey, how's nope. it going? <laughs> He's like an old man. <laughs> Just making myself pretty for the camera. Now I belong with the birds. Caca! Caca! Wally!